Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're all doing well today. I wanted to take a closer look at the blowgun today because in my last video about the blowgun, there were too many other things going on and I couldn't focus on it specifically. So I wanted to do more of a tutorial video that would show off more of its strengths, what melee weapons and what skills can best be used to synergize with it. So these are things like the meat skewer, grappling hook, smoke bomb, light speed, etc. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Leave a like and comment for more dead cells. And here we go. Phaser is a skill that you can use when you want to get behind enemies very quickly. It has both defensive and offensive uh, traits to it. So the defensive trait is that if an enemy attacks you, use the phaser, end up behind them. And the offensive trait is that you once you're behind them, you can actually use whatever weapon you want to use and do some additional damage. And so with weapons like the Assassin's Dagger and Blowpipe, that means that phaser plus using those weapons will get you a crit and that extra damage. One of the most popular ways to use this weapon is to use it with the phaser. So similar to the Assassin's Dagger, uh, that's one of the most popular builds. I've been that way since 1.0. Uh, you can see me using the phaser on these Inquisitors. Um, I also use the smoke bomb, which I will talk about in a little bit. Um, but with this elite, I'm going to be using the phaser and uh, just kind of get behind it. Phaser gives me extra damage. I uh, just keep smacking it. And then I also use a meat skewer. Uh, so against this elite too, I also make use of the phaser. It doesn't activate the first time, but the second time it does, and I get the kill that way. The grappling hook is a skill that you can use with an extremely short cooldown. Uh, when you grab the enemy, you actually do a lot more extra damage on your next turn. So that's uh, something that can be extremely effective in any sort of build, but especially with something like the blowgun. So the basic premise of this is to grapple something from behind and then use the blowgun in order to get the critical damage. As you can see at what I did with that slasher. And that kill on the other slasher will lead us into our next topic, which is grappling hook combinations. So something you may have already noticed or done yourself is using the grappling hook as a secondary skill. And what I mean by that is that it plays a supportive role and gets the first little uh, hook in the enemy. And then after that, you use your next skill or you use whatever melee attack, and then you can go for something with the blowpipe. So a couple examples of this that I'll show you are the grappling hook. You grapple them, they stun, you use phaser, and then you do an attack. You use the grappling hook, you use light speed, uh, then you use the blowpipe, then you get the critical hit and more damage. You use the grappling hook, the smoke bomb, so now you're invisible, and then you shoot the uh, blowgun and then you get the critical hit. So there's a lot of different combinations that you can use in conjunction with the grappling hook as well. So watch what I do with the grappling hook. So we grapple, phaser, blowgun. And then we just phaser on the rampager and clear out that curse. I'm going to do the exact same thing with this elite lacerator. So grapple, phaser, and then just smack them with the blowgun and then get the kill off. With the smoke bomb, what we can do is we grapple, and then we use the smoke bomb, become invisible so he doesn't throw any bombs, and then get the kill off very, very, very quickly. And so for the next one, we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to hook him, and use the smoke bomb, get up behind him, and then fire him off, and then we're good to go. As you saw earlier, I was using something called the smoke bomb. And what the smoke bomb is, is that it's a brand new skill introduced in the Bad Seed DLC. It drops from the Banished, the enemy the Banished, inside the Morass biome. And what it does is that it turns you invisible, and the next hit that you do will deal much more damage. So you can use it with pretty much any sort of tactic scaling weapon, even like colorless stuff and things like that. And essentially what you do is that you can use the smoke bomb and then roll behind an enemy and then do more damage. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing with the blowgun. So what you're going to see me doing here is use the smoke bomb and get behind the rampager and get the crit and kill. Very, very easy. Here it's done with two enemies, so they can't see me. And so I shoot it and get the crit. Right here, I'm also using the smoke bomb in um, avoiding the eater. And I'm able to do it and also get the kill as well. Extra damage and everything. And in Ossuary, I'm trying to avoid all these enemies right here. So I use the smoke bomb, get crits, and then get all the kills. The light speed is a really good skill that drops from the timekeeper upon your first kill of her. And what it essentially does is that when you activate it, you dash forward, you activate it again, you dash back. 
It has a pretty quick cooldown, so it can be used with the Hunter's Instinct mutation. And since you're going to be using the Blowpipe, it's a ranged weapon. You can get that quick cooldown with the Hunter's Instinct. So what you can do with the Blowgun is essentially you use the light speed, and then you turn back around immediately and fire with the Blowpipe. So what that does is that you get the damage from not only the light speed, but also the crit damage and probably the kill from the Blowgun. So right here what I'm going to do is that we're going to use a meat skewer and then use the light speed and then the kill on that eater. And essentially what that allows us to do is get out of harm's way because the light speed actually gives us some invincibility. And from there what we can do is get the quick, very very quick kill off. We do the same thing against the mushroom head except without the blowpipe. So against this elite eater I'm going to get hit. Uh, but then I'm, what I'm going to do is use the light speed and then keep firing off and then eventually I get the quick kill. So that's essentially how the light speed works. The last thing that we're going to take a look at that you may not think of immediately when you're talking about synergizing with the blowgun is the meat skewer. So in 1.6 what the devs decided to do with the meat skewer was change how it works completely. So now instead of stabbing twice and then dashing, you dash immediately and then do two stabs and then those stabs get the crit as long as you hit the enemy with the dash if that makes sense so how is this used with the blowgun well you dash then use the blowgun because you're going to be right behind that enemy and what the meat skewer essentially really really excels at is that dash gives you invincibility frames and you can use that to dodge enemy attacks and then get some crits off with the blowgun from there what you're going to see me do here is use the meat skewer on that inquisitor and then fire from there I'm going to do the same thing against this Rampager, except I mess it up a little bit. Uh, you got to do the Meat Skewer right in front of the enemy first, before you do the Blowpipe, like right there. And same thing here against this Bomber, and against th these Rampagers as well. And another Rampager kill in that exact same fashion. And that's essentially how that works. And the other great thing about the Meat Skewer is the iframes on the dash. So right here I'm able to use that against the Concierge. So how do we synthesize everything that we've learned in this video? So the main thing you got to keep in mind is situations. So for example, the grappling hook, you don't necessarily want to use that against a big giant mod because of the fact that you can only grapple one enemy at a time. So maybe something you can use is like a smoke bomb or something like that. Um, or even like a light speed. You can kill kind of more fragile enemies and then for the bigger enemies like your slashers and things like that or the eaters, you can light speed and then use your blowgun. Uh, for like normal enemies you can either use the grappling hook or the phaser like if they're by themselves. For bosses you can generally use the phaser. It just really depends on the situation that you find yourself in. And uh, I'm going to show a few examples of how I utilize my different skills and melee weapons in order to make full use of that blowgun. So right here we're going to make use of a simple roll into a blowgun and a smoke bomb into a phaser and last we're going to use another roll for the crit and three kills. Against this eater we're going to make use of first the phaser and then the smoke bomb so I don't get hit and we're able to get two quails on two strong enemies. We use a grappling hook and then we use a meat skewer and next we're going to use the phaser to get the kill on the second slasher. Right here we're going to use the smoke bomb so no one sees me. Inquisitor and slasher both get killed and because they can't see me I'm able to get crits and I'm able to use the grappling hook at that point. Uh, right there I use the meat skewer and fire off a bunch of times then do the crits with the, with the meat skewer and I'm able to roll out of the way from there. I use the grappling hook and then roll and smoke bomb to escape that situation. So I hope that gives everybody an overview into how to use the blowgun. There are certainly drawbacks to it in that you can't hit certain enemies and bosses. So for example, the ground shaker, you can't really get crits off of it, and its front damage is extremely weak. It's like the assassin's dagger, so you have to have something that can compensate for it. Uh, against giant, conjunctivious, and mama tick, you can't really get behind them because either they don't have faces or they don't have a backside, and because of that, it's impossible to get crits. So those are certainly drawbacks to it. I would say the advantage it has over the Assassin's Dagger is that it has an extremely long range and that it auto-targets. So you saw with like certain skills that I can utilize that I can't use with the Assassin's Dagger, such as the Meat Skewer and with the Light Speed. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. 
If you guys want to see any other tutorials, leave a comment. Uh, I'll probably be doing the rest of the DLC weapons and skills. And then I'm also kind of take a look at some other weapons that I haven't really talked about on this channel. So thank you guys again and have a great night, everybody. I woke up, I didn't have shit. I had to work hard just to grab this. Blue faces stacked up, that's my fetish. I'm ready, I'm ready for these bandages. They said I wouldn't make it, who asked you? I got brought into this life I didn't ask to. I'ma make most of it all, cause I had to. You get money from your mama, I chase it because I had to.